Hey you guys, it's that time. Pick a story where in one of the decks or all of the decks could be a story or a message for you. So what I like to do is to first hold each deck up to the camera for you to see if it's resonating with you, starting with deck number one. Uh -oh. Could your story or message be here in deck number one? Or is it in deck number two? Could your story or message be here in deck number two? Or is it in deck number three? Could your story or message be here in deck number three? All right, I hope you have made your selection. We'll go ahead and begin with deck number one. And we have the two of coins, the eight of wands, the tower, the sun, seven of pentacles, overall energy, king of cups, judgment, and death. All right, so I feel like the overall energy um, is having to do with a past situation that resurfaces. I feel like something ended or changed, but it's being called back. So let's say for instance, um, you're getting a call back from a job that uh, you got fired from um, or had quit. Um, it could be an ex, somebody that you broke up with. Now they're reaching out again. Um, it's just indicating any any past situation that you thought was dead and buried is actually um, coming back alive or resurrecting. Um, maybe you have been also waiting for a response or a phone call, something. And, you know, it's been so long that you just thought the the situation was dead. And it's like, oh, no, it's not dead. Like, OK, something's being revised. Um, now, it could be that something is like a near death experience. Maybe that's something that you've had in your lifetime. Um, if this is talking about some sort of spiritual gift, it does look like maybe someone is able able to connect with the dead. Um, or maybe you're getting ready to hear from someone who's crossed over. Um, you thought you would never hear from this person again, but they appear to you in a dream or something. Somehow you're reminded of them or maybe, um, you know, one of those unusual angel type situations where um, somebody just randomly walks up to you and gives you a message at a time when you need it and their name happens to be the same name as somebody that has crossed over. Like it might be an experience like that. It could be receiving some sort of message from beyond. Um, so it could be that too. Um, you also could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, maybe Leo. And I feel that something's going on in your life, too, where maybe your situation is stagnant or um, maybe it feels like you can't go anywhere. It feels like you've just been either going in circles or on a treadmill, like you're just moving in the same spot. Um, can't seem to move forward. I do feel that maybe that's going to be released or like there's going to be some sort of movement after some sort of ongoing stagnation. You also may have been having a hard time making some sort of decision. And then finally, you make decision to do something to be proactive or, you know, something that you go ahead and decide to do. Um, Finances seem, seem iffy. 
It seems like there could be some sort of financial struggles this month. And maybe you're also concerned about how to spend your money or what to spend your money on. Um, even if you do have the money in your savings, maybe you're having to go into your savings and you didn't want to, you know, so something's going on with your finances where it seems like maybe you're struggling a little bit. It does seem like money will start to come in, um, but it seems like a slow process. Um... And then also just it seems like there's instability uh, in some area of your life right now. A situation is unstable or flimsy. So something is needing to be secured. As far as the love situation, I feel that Somebody is needing to come forward, but they keep changing their minds. Um, this person might be nervous. I do feel like some messages are going to be sent that are very unexpected. Um, you also might receive some shocking news. I feel too like the truth is going to come out and be very, I feel like there's possibly some good news coming out though. Like this is very unexpected. Something's going to be very enlightening and it, I feel like it's going to give you like some kind of clarity, some sort of insight. You're going to have some sort of like wherever you've been in the dark, it's like, okay, now there's light. Now I can see everything around me, everything that's happening. Now I know what I need to do. So I feel that um, you are going to have some sort of clarity in your situation. Mm. Hmm. I feel like there's also some sort of pattern being broken that that ongoing pattern, I feel like it's going to be broken. Maybe you're going to, you know, realize the weak link in your life um, or whatever has been causing this weak, unstable foundation. I feel like it's going to be exposed. I feel like you're going to find the root of a problem. Like maybe you have been treating something on a surface level, like like something that just keeps coming back, a sore that keeps coming back. And it's like, why isn't this healing? Um, you know, I keep putting a Band-Aid on it and then it opens up. You know, it's kind of like maybe finding out like, oh, you know, the reason why it's not healing is because you have this underlying issue. Now that that's been resolved, the wound should close and heal. So it just seems like, you know, whatever... You're going to find the root of some sort of underlying issue so that you can properly address it or repair it. That can also have something to do with like the foundation of your home um, or something going on in your home that's been breaking down or your car. It could be anything. You just find out something's going to be the problem is going to be exposed so that you can fix it or resolve it. Um... You also may be wondering if you're going to get your investment back on something. It does seem like if you invest into something that you're going to see like a slow return. It'll come back. And ultimately, this is saying that you're going to need to have patience. Hmm. I feel like you're also going to have to view a situation objectively for you to have a better understanding. Mm. I see some sort of growth and maturity happening as well. 
If something hasn't been growing, if something has been stagnant, uh, like your finances, your business, um, I feel that you're gonna, it's gonna be revealed to you why something has not been growing. And I feel like you're gonna be able to resolve it and things should be back on track. I was also feeling like something might happen instantly or it seems like overnight success. Hmm. Even if you are about to have some sort of overnight success, um, you're still going to have to make some important decisions and not rush into making any decisions. Let's just say you won the lottery and then it was like, okay, you have like $2.3 billion now. What are you gonna do with it? It's like, okay, it's there, this is great, but wait a minute. First, I need a lawyer. Then I need uh, this. Then I need, you know, it's like, okay, that's great. You're overnight millionaire, but or billionaire, but now you need to figure out like what to do next. So I feel like even though something is going to happen in an instant, you still are going to have to take a step back and figure out like uh, or strategize like what your next move should be, or figure out how you're going to distribute something. Okay, I feel like uh, going back to a love situation. <sighs> okay, something is imbalanced for one. I don't know if someone is putting more effort into a relationship than other person or one person is just more selfish and taking and taking and taking and not giving anything back. Um, it also may be that there's some sort of juggling going on or somebody that just keeps dating between two people. Oh, I think I need to take this, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, I don't know if somebody is debating between two people um, or like you're with this person, then there's a breakup and then you're with this person um, or it's happening to you. It doesn't matter, it just seems like there could be some sort of um, rotation in regards to a love relationship. Um, hmm. Somebody also could be battling some type of addiction. Hmm. hmm. Somebody also might reveal that they've been depressed or sad or going through something. Hmm. And then also something is looking like 
some sort of a, an abrupt ending. Now, it could just be something as simple as uh, someone calling and hanging up a lot over and over again. Um, or having a conversation and then losing your temper and then hanging up. But it also could be some sort of abrupt ending having to, you know, a loss of a job or someone losing their home or having to make some sort of unexpected changes. Mm. Hmm. A family secret might be revealed. Um, it could be good news, could be bad news. Also, if there is someone who has already crossed over, I'm not predicting someone's death, but if someone has already crossed over, you could be receiving uh, an inheritance. Um... It seems like there could be some sort of sudden wealth coming into your life. Hmm. Someone also may finally decide to stand up to their family or tell their family the truth about what's really going on or about who they really are. Um, yeah. Someone might finally stand up to their family. And it's like now the healing can begin. There also may need to be some sort of reconciliation or healing between you and a fire sign. I feel like somebody might inherit some sort of wealth or property. I feel like there's a water sign that's been thinking a lot about you. Um, I feel like this water sign is trying to process something um, or they are strategizing something. They're trying to figure out how to approach you or how to share something with you. I feel like this person does not want to make an emotional decision or they want to make sure that they have some sort of understanding before they address you. Mm. 
Somebody also may be over concerned for an earth sign. Hmm. And it seems to like someone's going to reveal a secret, but something is still hard to understand or figure out or someone is having a hard time processing what's been told or shared. All right, so we'll go ahead and move on to deck number two. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Father, the World, Nine of Swords, King of Cups, overall energy, Six of Swords, Two of Wands, and Three of Wands. All right, so I feel like you guys are allowing spirit to guide you to where you need to be or to what you need to be doing, who you need to be dealing with. I feel like you're being guided by spirit. Um, I feel like you are just kind of trusting the process. Sometimes you might feel um, like you're on autopilot or you're just like, you know, you're like, I don't know, I'm just living life. But I feel that, you know, even though you might feel like nothing exciting is happening, it is happening or going on in your life like you are still on some sort of a journey um hmm it's not really so much not knowing i feel like you kind of have some sort of knowing of where you're headed it just makes me think of like a long flight when you're just like up in the air and you know you're going somewhere but you're at some point in the sky where you know it's just clouds you can't really see below you and you're just going um and you, it's a long flight you're like this is a long flight i gotta sit here for like 12 hours maybe you're going to singapore or something i don't know but it's like something seems like a long flight and you know you'll get there and you're just kind of like doing your um, daily activities until you reach that um, location or spot. Now, I also feel like someone is, is either going somewhere where there are volcanoes um, or live somewhere where there's volcanoes. Something about that seems significant. Mm. Seems to like you guys have been waiting either for a sign or waiting for some sort of information. It seemed like it was something that you've been anticipating. And then I feel like maybe something happens where it's like, okay, um, I got a response. I know what to do. And so it's like now you have set your intentions out into the universe and you are getting ready or have already taken the first step to something. Um, I feel like where you're headed is towards financial freedom and success or independence. It could be meant for you to start your own business. Mm. Could be something about your business that's about to take off. Something is just still leading to you having some sort of financial freedom or independence. And I do feel like maybe someone is getting ready to travel. Um, you might be getting ready to go somewhere 
uh, off at a distance or maybe you're about to receive someone maybe a visitor is coming to you or maybe someone is even moving in but I do feel like there's going to be some traveling or relocating if you're in a relationship you could be in a long distance relationship or maybe it starts off as a long distance relationship I see a couple of things happening like some of you I feel like you've been moving on from someone or that's what you've been working on is moving on from somebody um, regaining your independence learning what it's like to be completely on your own again um, but then I, for some of you I feel like maybe there's someone that's getting ready to come into your life or maybe they're already in your life you just don't seem to be too focused on it I feel like you're more occupied with yourself more occupied with your finances um, but I actually feel like there is somebody who finds you attractive somebody you might have some sort of admirer um, kind of like a secret admirer I just feel like somebody is they've got their eye on you and they are analyzing you and trying to, you know, figure you out and figure out what they're going to do to have you or to get to know you. Mm. I feel that you guys are getting ready to start this new chapter in your life like you're completing some sort of uh, cycle or phase or you're going to be completing it uh, pretty soon mm. I feel like something could happen around Capricorn season like something's ending or that could be when something is completed you also may be doing some kind of inner work working on yourself hmm. I kind of feel too that someone can't seem to stop thinking about you or you them You may be avoiding somebody or trying not to think about someone. There's something that is giving you stress or anxiety. I feel like you're dealing with some sort of frustrations. You also may be trying not to think about somebody um, in a certain way. Maybe you are trying to respect somebody, but you keep having like these sexual thoughts about them or vice versa somebody is like they're trying to look at you in a way that is respectful but they're like still having like all these thoughts about you um definitely feels like somebody could be watched like you're watching someone or somebody's watching you I'm also getting two people who, if they looked deep enough, would find out that they belong to the same um, tribe, some sort of native tribe. So it could be Apache, could be Blackfoot, could be uh, Chukta. I, I think I'm saying that one wrong. Um, but yeah, so you could find out that you are, you and this other person belong to the same tribe. Hmm. I'm also getting the energy of somebody being world renowned. I don't know if that is you or if you're dealing with someone who is world renowned. Hmm.
you also might have some sort of a gift that you're in denial about. I also get the energy of like somebody that keeps sending you either literal gifts like flowers or someone is paying you compliments that you're embarrassed by the attention. Something may be significant about 9-9. Nine, nine. Hmm. I feel like somebody is either in a love situation somebody is being petty like they don't want to acknowledge you one minute they don't want to acknowledge you the next minute they do something is kind of on off and I feel like you also kind of respond to this person if you know who they are I feel like you respond to them um, with a distance if they're ignoring you then you ignore them too you you guys could both be petty with each other, but I also feel like there's some sort of confusion. Something doesn't make sense. People are behaving in ways that just don't make sense. You also might be asking yourself why you're behaving a certain type of way. There's some, some confusion going on. I also see that in a dream something's being revealed to you. It could be your enemies being revealed to you. Mm, I feel like you're getting a glimpse of something. The other thing I'm getting is that there may be someone who is like hating on your success. Something's going on where you are, this person is, it's more so envious, it's, they, they don't understand your success. They're trying to figure out how you got there, um, how you were selected, how is it that you are seen, how are you with this person? Somebody is questioning Anything that, you know, in any area of your life where there's an, a sense of accomplishment, somebody doesn't understand how you got that. Also, someone is coming off um, not jealous, but they don't understand how you are so chill or how you are coming off so unbothered with some situation. They're like, how, how is this not bothering them? I feel like somebody wants you to react in a certain type of way. And when you don't, they don't get it. They, they, they want you to react the way they think you should, but you're not doing that. And I feel like it frustrates them. It also could be reverse. Maybe you're the one getting annoyed or frustrated because someone is just so chill. Could be dealing with an Aries or a water sign. Yeah, it seems like, like I said, somebody is 
maybe literally giving you gifts or compliments. I think somebody also can't figure you out and it's annoying or frustrating. I feel like somebody also maybe is wanting forgiveness. Um, they want you to forgive them or you want someone to forgive you. I feel like somebody's father wants them to forgive them for leaving or going away. Um, I feel like somebody is sorry for, for leaving or abandoning you. Mm. Yeah, it could be someone's father or baby's father. I'm getting something about Third Rock from the Sun. I don't know if that's like in reference to the TV show or somebody that was on a TV show or if that's how, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm getting that reference, Third Rock from the Sun. You may have had to grow up or let go of some sort of illusion that you were holding on to. Somebody's been traveling around the world and I feel like they're coming back for you. Somebody has been too busy for you and they, I feel like this person's ready now. They're ready to start a life with you. Um, it could be a fire sign, could be air. It could be anybody. It also could be that now that someone has healed and moved on, they're ready for you if that was a problem before. Hmm. There also could be some sort of changes coming to the family, either like a new addition to the family or saying goodbye to a family member. Again, I don't predict death, so this would be in reference to something that's already happened. I kind of feel like a family is going to have to move or relocate and maybe stressed about it. It's something your intuition might keep getting at you to do that you aren't doing. Um, I feel like you're being pushed to, to complete something. You keep trying to block out your intuition or you're in denial of something.
something as a defense mechanism, I feel like you don't want, you want to be left alone or you don't want to be seen being vulnerable. You don't want to be seen emotional. Hmm. I don't know. So just pay attention to your behavior or something that you're doing because it may be a defense mechanism. If you remember your dreams, I kind of feel like something keeps trying to, your dreams keep trying to show you something and you keep like when you wake up, you're like, I don't believe that. I don't think that's happening or blah, blah, blah. And your dreams are like, no, we're trying to tell you like this is getting ready to happen. <laughs> some sort of wish fulfillment. I feel like you're also very frustrated with someone's subtle hints and flirtations. I feel like you're frustrated because you're wanting someone to come to you uh, directly. And this person's being too subtle. Especially if they're a water sign or have water Mars. I feel like someone's going to let their guards down and allow themselves to be seen or uh, someone is going to openly express their feelings for you. I also see a possible invitation of something. Somebody's inviting you to something. It could be a party or event. I feel like somebody is though like being very romantic though or emotional. Yeah, maybe by the end of the month someone has reached reached um a level of emotional maturity and you know they come to you in a way that is vocal or very clear so that you don't have to guess. Mm. And again, I feel like there's gonna be some sort of changes to your home or where you live. So let's go ahead and move on to deck number three. Ooh. We have the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Queen of Disc. Seven of Disc, the Hierophant, overall energy, King of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Ace of Disc. All right, so. For some of you, I'm getting an invite uh, or some sort of proposal, whether it's a business proposal or marriage proposal. Um, I feel like something's being offered to you as well. 
there's an invitation or an offer on the table. Something's going on where I feel like you are about to have like more responsibility, um, especially in regards to career. Or it could just be somebody that is ready for the responsibility of a relationship. Hmm. I feel like you're being protected. Something's coming off like you're being protected. Um, you might have ancestors watching over you and protecting you, especially um, if, you know, of a fire sign or a water sign that crossed over. You guys are also going to be having a sense of security or establishing some sort of strong foundation in your life. I feel like something's being secured. It's a deal that's being secured, an agreement that's being secured, a relationship. Hmm. You may feel the need to um, protect yourself as well or protect protect your position if you feel like something's being threatened at work. Um, maybe you feel like, okay, I need to make sure that everybody knows that this is my position, that nobody can come for this position. Like something happens where you are having to basically lay down a law. You're having to establish yourself I do feel like people are going to respect you and see you for who you are. But it's almost like you had to fight for it. Mm. I feel like you are like fighting for what's yours. You're like, this belongs to me. Like, I will beat anybody down who tries to take what I have. Um... So you are fighting for something because you feel like you be it belongs to you um, or, you know, this is yours. You've earned something. You're not budging. You're not going to allow somebody to beat you off of your throne. You're not going to allow somebody to uh, overtake your your home or your establishment your space. You're like, no, this is mine. You might be fighting for a parking space, but I feel like you are fighting for something. You're like, this is mine. Like you cannot have it. And I feel like you are not backing down and you, you're going to get what is yours. Um, relationships, there could be someone that is fighting to keep you or to save the relationship. Like, I don't know if something's been going on where, you know, maybe you're like, okay, maybe I should leave this relationship. I feel like somebody's like, you're not going anywhere. Like, I'm a fight for you. Or we're gonna fight to save this relationship. Um, if you have a business, you might be like, I'm a fight to help save my business. Um, I just really feel like somebody is fighting for what they feel they deserve. It also could be that someone is doing this for you or you are doing this for somebody. Somebody coming to your defense. I feel like you have an edge over other people regardless. So something is indicating that you're going to have your victory. You're going to stand out on top. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be discovered. Hmm. I feel like you are going to be discovered or found. I don't know. You know, it depends on in what context that is for you. Like, let's say you apply for a job that, you know, 
thousands of other applicants apply to for whatever reason somebody just decides to click on your application it's like I'm not even going in order I'm gonna click this one and you know they're just choosing your application for some reason and, and you're already standing out um, I just feel like you have an edge over other people um, so I just feel like you're gonna be seen or you're gonna be discovered Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you also are the one that people are coming to for advice um, or people are seeing you as the one to go to for whatever. It's like, oh, you're the expert. Um, we need to go to uh, you for advice. And it also could be how you view somebody. But um, for the most part, I feel like people are coming to you. Maybe you are going to be some sort of advisor or consultant. You're just coming off as a knowledgeable person. I also feel that you may receive some sort of knowledge um, spiritually. You could be initiated or chosen or selected for something to receive some sort of hidden knowledge or maybe you unlock the key you have some sort of key where it's like um you know you unlock some sort of hidden knowledge and you are have maybe proven yourself to be responsible enough to receive some sort of valuable knowledge or information you're coming off as trustworthy um, you may find yourself putting your priorities in order making some sort of arrangements Something's going on where you have to make a checklist and you are going off of this checklist and doing the, all the things that you need to do. You're like, OK, this needs to be done. That needs to be done. OK. And I feel like you're getting all your responsibilities in order. I feel like with finances. You're needing to save your money or invest in the right things. Your money is coming in slowly. Something seemed very stagnant at first. But I feel like the money's coming in. I feel like if it's something you want, you have to fight for it. You also gonna have to end up pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Maybe you've gotten too comfortable, too quiet, too complacent with something. And then it's indicating that you're going to rise up and just like, you know, get out of your comfort zone. Or maybe spirit is, you know, putting some fire under you and making you um, take some sort of action instead of procrastinating. You may find yourself studying some sort of hidden language or foreign language. You also might be focusing on your health and I don't know if you have some sort of doctor's appointment or if you are taking your health more seriously. Mm, I feel like someone wants to secure you for a job. Someone does not want anybody else to have you. You might receive some sort of offer at an existing job because they don't want to lose you. They don't want you to transfer or go away. They just want to keep you. 
Um, I feel like you are being seen as an asset to somebody or a company. Someone is seeing your value. You might also realize that you're sitting on some sort of a gold mine. Hmm. I also feel like somebody is waiting for the highest bidder. I don't know if you got something on eBay, if you're trying to sell your house, but I feel like somebody is like, they know that they have something valuable and they're like, I'm waiting for the highest bidder. You could be holding on to an air sign, or if you're an air sign, somebody may be holding on to you. Oh, I might have to take that. Hang on. All right. So, yeah, I was saying that um, someone could, if you're like feeling or questioning whether you need to leave or stay in some sort of situation. Um, I'm feeling like hold on for now. Seven, seven may be of significance to you. Maybe that's someone's birth year, life path number. Maybe you just keep seeing that uh, July 7th. I don't know, but maybe seven, seven is significant for you. Um, something indicates that you are going to defeat your insecurities or whatever fears you've been having you're going to defeat them mm. seems like you're also questioning how do you approach a situation like you feel something is near you feel something is getting ready to happen and I feel like you're trying to stay on top of it or you want to stay ahead of the situation. Whatever's going on, I feel like you're planning ahead. You're like, I want to make sure that I'm prepared for this, that, and the other, or that I'm, you know, three, four, five steps ahead of everybody. So something's happening where you are planning ahead. I feel like you also are setting boundaries, some strict boundaries for yourself or your situation. You're not allowing certain things to happen anymore. You might be angry now or just, yeah, like you're angry about something. You're like, this isn't happening anymore. And so you're putting your foot down. You may be giving people a hard time or making some sort of restrictions if someone wants to get close to you or get to know you. It's like if you can climb over this 900 foot wall, then I guess we good. But other than that, you know, this is built to keep people like you out or 
you know, I just kind of feel like something's going on where you are upset and you're building up some sort of high tower around yourself. Uh, oh my goodness, I keep getting all these interruptions. Hold on. Okay, I am back. All right, so I was saying something about building a high tower around yourself, um, but it was something significant about that tower that was standing out. Um, I don't know if something has something to do with Trump Towers um, or if something, um, there's something going on where maybe someone lives in um, a very... Uh, high tower like a condo um, yeah you also could be dealing with someone who holds some sort of a high status or like I said earlier you could be uh, someone that's gonna have some sort of high status I start to say nominate but I don't know, it just seems like being initiated or um, nominated for a high position. Um, so in a love situation, uh, I do feel like maybe someone is communicating or opening up and just making it known how they really feel about you. Someone is speaking their truth. Um, I feel like maybe you've earned someone's trust or someone has earned your trust. And it just seems like, um... It seems like the truth is going to be revealed to you. Something's going to be made known to you. Um, so yeah, somebody also may be ready for that commitment. I feel that. I feel that like you're going to realize that someone came into your life for a reason, or um, you're going to see the bigger picture. You're going to understand that something is for a higher calling. I also feel like you're being introduced to someone or this is some sort of introduction. Something's it's an introduction. That could be any sign, but I kind of feel like a fire sign is going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah. Mm. I'm getting something about private something, someone's personal assistant or private something. You could be hired to be someone's private chef, someone's personal assistant. Um, so especially if you are some sort of independent contractor I just feel like you are being hired to be to work in some sort of private sector or it's like personal assistance, something. I just feel like you're being uh, pulled in for that. Um, someone also may be putting a good word in for you. Mm. Also in a love situation, um, I feel like somebody is your soulmate and I feel that the two of you are making some sort of promise to each other um, or you guys are making some sort of arrangements. You are doing something where you're creating some sort of structure to your relationship 
you're kind of like making the rules to your own relationship. It's like, okay, if the, if we're going to be together, you know, this is how we're going to do it. This is, you know, it's like you guys are really like taking something serious. Um, and I feel that something's going to be like become official for you. You could be officially off the market. You could be officially single, but I feel like this is leading more towards those of you that are about to enter a relationship. Even if this is like a business partnership, I could see that too. But I feel like something is getting ready to become official. All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.